Come on in. My name is Bill Tobin, and this is your restaurant success tip of the day. Okay, we got some good news. The portal for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund is now open. Uh, bad news is that it's invite only. The SBA said last week that they were going to invite 28,000 randomly selected applicants from the priority group that had pl applied for PPP prior. The priority groups are the um, women, veterans, and or socially and economically disadvantaged individuals. So um, those people are being invited to do test runs on the portal and the application process to make sure that everything is running smoothly. They're not being awarded money first or they're not being funded, but they are being allowed to apply to test the system. The SBA said that it would take one to two weeks to test the system and then everybody will be allowed to apply all at the same time. So let's look for this to be open up to everybody and you can fill out your application within the next two weeks. The, the, another thing that SBA said this last week that's important to know is get your applications ready and you need documentation to show for the for your application specific documentation they are hoping that people will have their taxes done your 2020 taxes done if you do not have your 2020 taxes done there are different things that you can use but these are the things that you're going to need to apply First, you're gonna need an application and that will be done online. That's SBA form 3172. No need to write it down. It's gonna be part of the portal and you'll just fill it out on the portal. You'll also need IRS form 4506T. And what that is, that is giving SBA permission to look at your tax returns when you fill it out. They'll, they'll go back and look at your tax returns for 2019 as well as 2020 if you filed them. And then you're gonna need gross receipts documentation, or this is the documentation that shows how much revenue that you had for 2020. Preferably, like I said, those are the business tax returns or, um, or your partnership um, returns. It's, it's IRS form 1120 or IRS form 1120S if you are a corporation, IRS form 1040 Schedule C, IRS 1040 Schedule F, or your partnership, IRS form 1065, including your K-1s. Those are the different types of tax filings that you've, you've done if you filed taxes in 2019. You filled out one of those forms and that's what they'll go look at. They also will look, be looking at your bank statements. And if you don't have your taxes done, then they might look at your uh, what financial statements that you've prepared, either your income statement or profit and loss statements. They actually said these are the these things are required: the application form, the tax verification form, then you, then your growth, 2019 gross receipts. They're going to get that from your 2019 tax returns. So if you haven't done your 2019 tax returns, you're gonna you're gonna slow the whole process down. Down. They're also gonna need three months of bank statements. That's that's not a um, that's 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 not an optional thing. That's something they're gonna need to look at. They're they're also gonna want to verify that the account number that you're putting on the application form is the same as the account number where these bank statements are showing those revenues because they want to fund the same account where the money normally goes to. And then if you don't have your 2020 tax returns done or, or your point of sale, they can also, they're also partnering with the point of sale systems, Toast, Clover, Aloha, NCR, and Square. Uh, they're, they're partnering with four different systems with Toast and Clover, they can actually download your um, your point of sale reports in their the toast system and then um, and then if the, you don't have your tax returns or your point of sale reports 
then they will accept uh, ex externally or internally prepared financial statements such as income statements or profit and loss statements. Um, but that may delay the review past 14 days. So you're going to want to prepare your tax returns preferably and do it as soon as possible. Um, so your task for today, gather your documents and get ready for the portal to open within the next two weeks. Now go make it happen. Do you have a comment or a tip for restaurant leaders? Text me at 808-201-0550 or find me at restaurantleadership365.com. This is Bill Tobin. Thanks for coming in. See you tomorrow.